Now, what's the next step as KVK ends? As you guys can see, we've got five days left and KVK is officially over. And we have about 4.6 million troops dead and about 2.3 million troops going to be returned to us. This is the current status of my account with the Hall of the Heroes. I'm curious, how did you guys perform in your last KVK? Now, majority have asked me the question, will you stay in the kingdom? And also, I've got some invitation to join other kingdoms. Now, as you guys all know, well, first of all, I want to ask, I want to ask you guys before I say my statement here, I want to know two things, okay? Are you guys going to stay in your kingdom or are you guys moving out? Second thing in here is that what do you guys think? For those who have been following us for a very long time, what do you guys think will be my decision? Would I be staying in this kingdom or would I be leaving and migrating to a different kingdom? Now, as you guys know, we did lose our KVK. We have now retreated back into the home kingdom. So I want you guys to formulate what do you think is next for Shinchi42. As you guys already know that there's only a few kingdoms that I have been, right? I've only been into Kingdom 228, um, 1382, and this is my third kingdom that I have migrated into. All right, so why did I have three kingdoms to migrate anyway? So first of all, I left 1253 because we lost there. There was no value for me to stay in 1253. I was in a very bad position in a very bad spot. When I was there, it was really horrible psychologically, mentally, and everything was just very, very hard. As we lost the RK, LK, and DK, we lost three alliances in 1253 due to betrayals. So it was a very hard process and very hard move, and I was so grateful that Random Arab from 228, which I'll never forget, and which I've learned so much from him when it comes to leadership part and understanding more into the game. So they took us in in, so they took us in, in 228, so that's basically my first migration. And in 228, I have stayed there for over a year. And I think it was about four KVK that we have played in 228. So with that being said, we have won and lost KVKs in 228. And I did not migrate just because we have lost. We've gone through so much in 228. And um, for the 228 original players, they probably still remember me. And for the, uh, for the Knights family as well, I'm sure they still remember me as well. Now, I initially actually created my 1253 account after the loss of K41. So for most players who don't know, is that I am actually one of the first kings in K41. And we lost in K41 because of betrayal as well. We were trying to protect the smaller alliance. This is way before KVK even was a thing, right? We were trying to protect the small alliance from being bullied. They were just being destroyed by this Ash alliance. And we stood up against them and trying to protect the free-to-play players who are just trying to grow on the outside gates because we want to basically have a very strong kingdom. But at that time, they were bored, so I was pretty upset. And also, we lost BOL, as you guys can see. BOL in here. Um, they were like the TIK and BOL, that was the, the synergy. And when Donnie Boy and Mael, those were the P two big leaders there, when they left, Donnie Boy actually went to the medical school, which is good grace for him for going for achieving such a great thing in life. Um, he's an Australian Indian guy who is, uh, I think he's, he might be a doctor by now. But he left the game and um, pursued his career. And that shift a lot of balance, a lot of power. When you lose an, another alliance, it was very difficult because now TIK lost a brother um, to fight with because we were hand-in-hand. Hand, we protected each other at any cost 
at all costs. The loyalty was absolutely insane. So I was the king number four there. Um, I, I was supposed to be number three, but I was in the Philippines that time. And I said, you know, Donnie boy, go ahead and take it. Uh, another thing as well is my brother, who is also one of the king when we started in K41. So to me, being part of a kingdom and the culture is very important. Getting to know players for them to like you, to welcome you, I think is a very important thing for me. Now, a lot of players in Rise of Kingdoms, once their kingdom gets defeated once, they typically leave the kingdom because they always want to find a winning kingdom. Now, in my experience, for what I know in gaming, you cannot win every single match. There's always going to be times where you're going to lose. There's going to be times that you're going to win. So fast forward here. We did a jumping project. We created the 1253 account, which is this account currently that I am using in 1412. We migrated into 228 since we lost 1253 and 1254 demolished 1253 thanks to Bunny. I left the 228 going to 1382. There, you know, of course I had some personal reason and it wasn't because we lost our KVK. One of the things that I love in 228 though, they're a fierce fighter. They're similar with 1412. They've got the right mentality for fighting. So that's one thing that I like about them. But it just wasn't to aligning to where what I want with my gaming. So, you know, I mean, four seasons there, well, a lot of fun. We had a lot of struggles. We came from nothing to something. So that was a very hard moment, a very hard decision for me. And then I got invited to 1382. I got to talk to Red. I got to get to talk to South. And then eventually we became friends with Puddle Cakes as well as we joined into 1382. Now, I left 1382 not also because we lost when we were, in, you know, battling 1412. One of the reasons why I left 1382 um, is because we want to get into the higher level of gaming. So when I talked to Tika Gaming, which I've said this story before, is that he said that, Shinchi, you should probably migrate and get yourself in a higher level of gaming, which is here in 1412, which... In the previous KVK, you guys have seen intensive intensive competition from this server. And like I said, we've lost a lot of troops by continuously fighting. What's very, very bold move. Four versus ten. Absolutely insane. And um, something that I've never been a part of, which I really had a lot of fun. Regardless that we have lost. I, I want to say it. I think no matter what other people say, this is my own opinion. I think we have lost. Well, we pulled back now. There's no way we have won. We're not touching the, the ziggurat, so we really lost there. Um, so we lost a KVK, but it was a great experience. It was really fun. Um, in my opinion, I think it was just too many opponents going against us. So it was very, very challenging and very, very difficult. But here's the thing, though. Migrating, I want to give you guys a good tip. You don't want to waste your money on buying passports every single time. Now, I've given a good tip before to say always stock up onto your passport because you'll never know when you have to leave, when you're when people turn their back on you. You never know when that's going to happen. So you always want to stock up with your passport pages. But currently in here, since I've been in 1412, typically when I migrate to the newer kingdom, I always stack up on the passport Honestly, I've been here one KVK already in 14, uh, 1412. I have not purchased a single passport yet. So this is when I came in. I have 18. Um, I have not purchased anything yet. So basically what I'm trying to say here, I have no plans on leaving 1412. But why is that the reason, right? Why am I staying in 1412? Now, there's so many kingdoms out there. You know, I've got some invitations but, you know, I have to respectfully decline. Um, 1412 is a very different kingdom than the previous kingdoms that I have been. And um, in here, they're very determined on winning. You know, they have one mindset, win at all costs, fight till you're zeroed, give everything to the kingdom, support the kingdom, which I really enjoy, I really like. And it's not just that, right? As a content creator, there's content to be made in this server, right? We've, we're going to get some amazing fights. We're going to get some really amazing footage, and we're going to be able to participate more. And it's not just going to be a one-day fight, and then we're, you know, if we're losing, it's not going to be a one-day fight, and then we're going to get trapped 
or we're going to get blocked, right? Even if our, our opponent is not going to be a one-day fight. It's going to be multiple days of fighting before we block somebody. And it's just going to be very insane. We've got to do a lot more live streaming. It's just going to be really fun, right? So what we're looking right now for, for, for our content, for my gaming, is that we're going to look for something that is really fun. And, of course, the biggest thing in here that why I am staying is not just because purely onto the gaming, but it was actually a pure decision because of the culture of 1412. Now, whether you guys like it or not, whether you guys are going to say, oh, you're just there for the golden chest, which we don't really, oh, which we, which we actually do get some golden chests in here. Wow. I was going to say, we're actually getting wood chests in here right now. But okay, so here's the thing. It's not about the chest. Like, I have so much speed ups in here. Like, I can't even consume this, right? I need the resources really to consume. I don't care. If I can donate my speed ups, I will donate my speed ups. I don't care about that. That's not, that's not a big thing for me. The golden chest, we get a lot of golden chests. If you guys don't know, if you're in IF28, which is in Kingdom 228, they buy a lot of chests. And I used to buy a lot of chests. So this is nothing. Nothing for me. Like, I've, I have six years worth of speed ups coming into 1412. How many of you guys have a six years worth of speed ups coming into a cave kingdom, right? So I have six years worth of speed ups. Whatever they give, whatever whatever I get in here is not much really, right? So I, can, I know how to accumulate them. But one of the things that is most important for me coming into 1412 is the culture of the players. So for now, what I know is that we're trying to build another alliance. That's why we've done a recruitment video. If you guys want to join us, there's a link in the description. And thank you for watching until here, right? So, 1412, the players here, mainly Arabic, they've welcomed Shinji Fortitude wholeheartedly, accepted me. Like, man, I didn't even fight them. I didn't fight them when I was in 1382. They recruited me a year before I joined. I have been into their Discord for their old Discord and the new Discord even before I came into 1412. That's the biggest thing for me because one of my conditions before I migrate to a server is that I want to know how much they actually like me. And it might be sound petty it sounds silly so there's kingdom who are you know trying to recruit me you know hey come into this server but like i don't know how much your your players actually like me how much of your players are actually going to support me um i know in 1412 mainly are arabic and it's hard for them to watch our videos but they still come in into our stream you know i see arabic messages and i know it's coming from 1412 and, and that's as a youtuber i don't care about winning or losing you know, I can stay in the losing kingdom all for all the entire eternity and build up from there. But the key thing is, is that I want to have that support. I want to have that culture. I want to be able to go into Discord and have fun and chat with them, which we, I've, I've done it in here in 1412. Just chit chat with them, have some amazing conversation, talk about life and just get to know at a personal level, which I've gotten to know a few of them already at a personal level. So for me, that's that's my next step. I don't think I am going to migrate. Um, not this round. Who knows what's going to happen after the next KVK, whether or not our relationship still maintains to be amazing, and I will stay in here. If our relationship do deteriorate eventually, because you never know what's going to happen. Maybe I do something stupid, and um, then they don't forgive me, then, I'm, uh, then I have to leave. Right, So in that sense, then I'll probably have to make that move. But with that being said, being in 1412, I think majority of people should take a chance and try this kingdom out because it's really amazing. The, the, the people in here are very nice. The culture are, is it, it's a little bit strict, but it, the order is good. Culture, great. People, great. And um, yes, you get a lot of golden chests. It's going to help a lot of the free-to-play. It's not really going to help me much. What I need more... What I need most is really resources. So I need a lot of gold for me to really use the speed up. I need to train a lot of troops with that. I can't do it, but as you can see, I'm diligently trying to farm so I can get more resources and really use the speed ups that I'm getting. At the end of the day, those gold chests means nothing if you can't farm for resources. So with that being said, guys, join 1412. I'm gonna be here. So if you wanna play with me, play with us, be on YouTube, and just have fun with us in here in 1412. The link is in the description. There's going to be a Discord link there. Join, ask for the application, and become part of 1412 with me. I see I see being here in 1412 for a long run. It may be my permanent resident, hopefully, because I don't want to keep buying passports and waste, you know, waste money on to just moving around and trying to get to know new people. 
I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of trying to get to know new people. Um, you know, when you migrate into new kingdom, because I want to build that relationship, and that's what I'm hoping for here in fourteen twelve. And for those who have migrated in fourteen twelve, and those who are planning to migrate in fourteen twelve, I hope you guys will enjoy it here as much as I'm enjoying it in here. And there's going to be a lot of war, a lot of fun contents, and it's just going to be really amazing. That being said, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.